foundation about visual art and photography. If you want to help us, just drop a donation on buymeacoffee.com slash berlinexplorer. So, welcome to 50 Minutes of Experience, and today I'm with uh, Saurat Das. Welcome, Saurat. Uh, it's glad to be here. Thanks for, thanks for this opportunity. Yeah, you're welcome. So, uh, as you know, I will love that you introduce a bit of yourself and then we can uh, talk a bit uh, about your photography, your life, your experience. Sure. What, what sure, you can sure. tell us so, about you. So, yeah, well, uh, I'm a self-taught photographer. So I'm based in India, Kolkata, the city. So I just started out in 2016. I was most interested in... I, I mean, I haven't been, you know, much formally acquainted with photography as a discipline. Like, you know, learning about it, studying about it. I have never been much of a, you know, student that way. So, my background is economics. So, I'm a student of that subject. So, this journey started for me way back in 2016, the late part of 2016. So, I was particularly interested in street, street photography and documentary photography, you know, just walking about on the streets, you know, just venturing out, capturing light all around me, whatever, you know, catches my fancy and everything. So that's how it started, actually. So it's been three years since then. So once this lockdown happened, I mean, I started experimenting with different genres and different categories and different themes. So, you know, I just started out on an experimental note and just I got interested in the fine art, the conceptual side of this discipline actually. So it's been kind of a nice journey throughout and you know I have a lot to learn. I'm just very new in this field, right? It's just four years and so far the process it's been fun actually. I mean it's you know just you just go out, you just capture whatever you feel like and you, you whatever you see in front of you. You know, it's about, you know, letting it surprise you. How the streets, how the life that goes on, people moving about, the light, the colors all around you, the traffic, everything, you know, is you, could, you just got to let it surprise you. And I think that's how it works. It's become of a more of a replace in this sense. So you just go out with your camera, you just observe, you just look around, you just observe, you see something interesting and you just click it. So that's how it it has been for me and that's how I want it to be for the foreseeable future. So, right. Okay, perfect. So um, I would love to know more about uh, uh, what uh, yeah yeah so now it's it's everything about surprising and it's uh, and that's yeah, yeah, of I, I agree of with course. you uh but uh, you know uh it's really interesting because uh other people when they start taking pictures they are kind of uh moved down uh on influences from other photographer and exactly. Uh, exactly your picture are so particular in some cases I mean, it's like you're doing that from a life <laughs> in some cases. In some particular picture, it's like it's it's really like that. And there are some okay. some of them they are really uh, fragment frames, uh, uh, really particular. Um, yeah, of yeah. The experimentation of the of the blur of the movement, uh, and exactly. it's uh, so interesting. So uh, I I want. I would love to to know uh, what kind of curiosity uh, that develop inside of you, and how do you work after? So, I I can understand that you work much more on the selection and uh, the use of the pictures, uh, and uh, and this is really nice. Also, uh, I like a lot how do you manage uh, 
the light picture so uh, you you're doing this all of this uh, sign with the light and then you compose, right, right, and you compose right. this uh, no this uh, puzzle of uh, light and there is one in particular this uh, dance macabre uh, okay, yeah, really yeah, interesting yeah. because it look like uh, you know that uh, you are formed uh, a kind of alphabet uh, with uh, exactly. uh, with your uh, pictures and this is so uh -huh. interesting yeah. because it's so creative in a way thanks for thanks for thinking it like that so i mean that was kind of an experimentation you see you see that that dance macabre that 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 frame that composition you see that's actually the moon that actually the moon i mean it's, it's, it's well, nice i will never and i will never uh, uh, guess that it was the moon it, it was the moon you see it's you know i took i took so many trials of that thing like you know it's about the camera movement i just you know to it around with the shutter speed of my camera and just you know it was evening it was evening and the moon had just come out so it was a full moon day and i found it just you know let's just do it let's see what happens what's the worst that could happen so i just you know played around with my shutter speed and just you know moved my camera around so i could get a lot of unpredictable surprising shapes symbols shapes is just you know i yeah, never yeah. had anything in mind i never had anything in mind in particular so i did not think that okay i i i want this sort of symbol i just this i just want this sort of shape so i just you know move my camera around like that i did not i did not think it in that manner so i saw the moon i saw that it would make a nice you know let's just experiment let's let's just see where it goes yeah right so that's how i did it that's how i did it so you know is is a collection is really collection impressive for me from my point of view because okay it's um it's something is really um uh, keep the details uh the point is uh, that uh, uh, now yeah in my experience i know many photographers many of them they will never use a uh, blurred picture or a picture moved you know where the light is is moving and uh, i like the way you compose that because in a way uh, yeah you also provoked uh, the curiosity the 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 dream of someone huh? to exactly and uh, that was my idea after all yeah and this uh, this is so really impressive from my my side and uh, I like also some others picture, uh, some others um, composition with two picture, like for example, this one I read is uh, in blindness, ambition outline, overcoming the heart of color in knocks and crannies where known is discriminated, right. where all trash and in the one, the struggles weak out of cracks and scars, searching for a realm of recognition as the senses being crosses over into the heavy gray and the welcoming gateway become an abyss thought and vacant where no one can trespass. and this is so nice i mean and it's nice what you wrote um but yeah the 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 picture are strong i mean there are frames and there are details much more stronger than other portrait in a way yeah this is we can say these are uh portrait of yourself and uh, this is what i want to ask to yourself to you uh, it's how much you see yourself in this kind of picture and uh, how this picture in a way reveal uh, to yourself uh, something new it's about you know i personally believe that you know the kind of compositions i make or rather i attempt to make you see i was just use the word attempt i can just you know i just keep trying do you know and i think i think it's kind of a exploration of oneself i'm trying to explore my mind my psychology into via pictures 
I'm trying to utilize or trying to show or visually present like it's everything you know that goes on in my mind like particularly in this composition in blindness you see I tried to show a paradox it, it was it's kind of a paradox you see there's the con- there's the concrete there's the crack in the wall and there's the rainbow and on the other side on the other panel there the, the the window is cracked the glass is cracked there's no light going through that instead the lights the light can sorry the light the light can't you know the light can't move into the wall the light can't move into the crack right so that's kind of like a paradox i think and i just you know try to imagine what a blind person would feel like a person who's just gone you know who can't see who can't see what colors look like the a person who can never see who can never understand how they feel maybe maybe that's what's going on in his mind right i mean he's living he's alive he can't see he can't see the colors it's like this rainbow on a wall and the light can't go in and at the same time he's there's this window with cracks where the light doesn't go in where there's no light i mean i mean that's kind of like a paradox i think i tried to present in that composition i feel so that's kind uh, of i like repeat it. it's it's uh, it's really impressive what you do it's uh, it's really particular it's really touchable and uh, i like a lot personally and uh, yeah i will say continue to doing that because in a way it's really strong and uh, but, uh, and uh, it's different from the from what we are able to see every day of course yeah, i mean maybe. it's i mean it's nice because you can catch some stuff we are we are uh, everyone able to see every day but uh, we don't pay attention and uh, i like also right. lot this uh, this series you did uh, of uh, narrating loss science okay, of life okay no? okay it's, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. really simple and uh, strong uh, because in a way yeah this this is the point the point in the end is to catch some object objects some perspective of uh, uh, houses in the end of uh, exactly what what uh, exactly. what human doing uh, And, and without representing the the portray in a way you portray the human so you see it's kind of like when it comes when it came to the series and herod and loss suppose you know i did this in 2020 itself you know when everything was shut down and there was there was nothing open i couldn't go out on the streets so you, you see like it kind of brought me closer to my own home and to my own surroundings and it's just you know help me to look it helped me to observe everything around me so that's that was kind of an inspiration for me to be able to look like it's kind of funny isn't it i mean we go out we take pictures we see what's going on all around the world but we somehow miss what's going on in our immediate surroundings which we kind of just you know try to forego we kind of overlook what's going on right beside us right I mean just 5 feet away from us what's going on I mean the room I am in what's happening there it just kind of missed those things the little things they matter right they matter a lot and maybe that's what I turn my attention to so I I like one fine day you know came across a room it was in my own house and everything so it was kind of closed for over a decade so the people have moved out there were there was no one living in that room so for 10 15 years that room was locked and everything so one fine day i just went in i just saw all these things you know i just saw all these things a a tiny plant or you know tumblers of tumblers utensils a table a broken chair and every, everything like that you just they were just there it was just lying there nobody there was there were no but there was nobody not a human do you know claim them so okay this is mine this is my chair this is where i sit there was nobody it was just empty and i thought that okay maybe this is how the story is supposed to be like there's no one to claim them there's no one around there's no one to claim them and it's like a you know 
it's like an abandoned memory of somebody and it's not even mine i don't know who these people are so like a part of me you know just wanted to know who these people were who who lived who lived in here i mean whose whose chair was it whose table was it what like what did they do in this place like a part of me wanted to know more about it and it's this kind of it was like a dying memory like i couldn't claim that memory as uh, as mine i couldn't claim it as mine i just you know i just wanted to tell a story so that's where it came i like i couldn't inherit anything apart from the apart from the idea of loss that there's nobody in here to claim them so that's kind of you know that was like my entry point for this entire series as a whole was kind of it took me like to what i just you know didn't make these pictures in over a week or in a month or so i just took my time 6 months i just kind of stayed in that room i tried to take it all in the feelings whatever was lost and everything so i just tried to understand what was going on whether i could you know at least learn something from here maybe that was my intention after all kind of a call it my intention or my intuition or reflex whatever but i actually wanted to learn something here like in an empty room there's nobody here i don't know these people like what actually could i inherit apart from the loss maybe all that's left so and all that's left are these empty things just people the things that these people have touched for some years like they are now abandoned there's nobody to claim them and they are not even mine so that was my idea behind it all and that's that's just great tried. that's great i i will love the people uh, uh, sharing the experience in the, in this case like you are doing <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah this is what uh, what the aim of this podcast is to sharing this oh, okay. not not only the experience experience tangible but also what we feel what we see what we understand what we feel so i thank you a lot uh, saurav for your time and uh, for yeah this, i'm uh, glad to be here uh, nice uh, i'm really glad to be here yeah and, so uh, uh i hope to to talk with you in the future and to see of the course, progress of course of your uh, of course work. i would love to and uh yeah i advise everyone to see the work of saurav uh link in the description and if someone wants to send a vocal message there is another link that you can see for a voice message to comment this podcast if you want or add your point of view and i thank you a lot again and uh thank you so much for giving me this opportunity i'm so glad to be here and thank you so much for liking my work and i hope to keep trying thank yeah, you for your support you have you have to do man you have you should <laughs> i sure intend to do so so i just you know i just really enjoy this process actually and talking about all of this you know makes it so much better right sharing yeah. the experiences the works talking about it so it's just great so thank you so much thank you so much for this opportunity you are really glad You are totally welcome. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Learn more about our project at allmylinks.com slash Berlin Explorer or visit our Instagram and follow Berlin Explorer project.